I think I just need to start documenting uh, my feelings and what's going on because it doesn't, this can't even be real. It's not real. We're in the Tampa Bay area, St. Pete, just flooded in Hurricane Helene. Just we're getting our feet under us after that. We got all the wet stuff out of the house. You have to cut the drywall. House is basically down to studs. So our next step is just putting back together. Our flood adjuster hasn't even been to the house yet to like confirm our claim or whatever the fuck. You're supposed to come tomorrow, Monday, when it's going to be pouring rain. And there's another hurricane coming. There's another. Hur- and, and this isn't just like a light hurricane of it's going to be a breezy this is a direct hit of a hurricane that has the entire gulf of mexico to cross and gain strength and come directly at tampa bay which hasn't happened to us in i don't even remember how many years a long time and you should see our neighborhoods they're just everyone's debris is still outside if i thought about moving to florida but i was largely influenced and impacted by what I experienced during the pandemic, meaning that everything was shut down here in Michigan. And so I went down there in the wintertime. And I think I got down there in like November, beginning of November. And I stayed down there all the way up till like March, April of next year, of the year after. And this was in 2021 going into 2022. And so Florida was open. And so I stayed in Miami and I took my family down there with me. And I had an awesome time. But I was very careful when the people down there told me, uh, and I also, you know, got a lot of family down there in Tampa. I got a brother down there in Tampa. I got a lot of family down there in Tampa. Uh, And I was also told, hey, Anton, if you're going to consider moving down here, make sure you understand that you didn't stay down here during hurricane season. And so I was very, very careful. And I started doing my research because I was thinking about investing in real estate. And then I started to catch wind of the fact that all of the insurance companies started pulling out of Florida and then also over there in California. So initially I was thinking to myself, well, maybe they're pulling out because, you know, insurance as far as cars, because it's a high theft area and all of this stuff. Nope. They pulling out because it's too costly to insure what is always going to be in a direct line of sight of what's happening as far as hurricanes. Now over in North Carolina, like Asheville, they still recovering too. They didn't even realize it was going to be as bad as it was. I heard there's people in Tennessee, people in, in, in Georgia, all across the board, they are suffering. And, and, and Helene, which this is Hurricane Milton that she's talking about, but Helene is said to be the second worst hurricane or the impact of a hurricane since Katrina. Now, it may even be a little bit worse than Katrina because uh, what people have continuously complained about is the fact that the levees was blown up and they didn't necessarily break, but that's a whole nother conversation. But the point is, is that the insurance adjusters is not going to be out there to fix nothing because they already knew that Milton was going to be in the way. And so I don't understand. And and we're going to get to FEMA and Kamala Harris and the leadership and stuff like that. Cause I want to let her finish what she got to say. I don't understand why people are still looking to move to Florida, knowing that this is going to be, something that is regularly in your backyard every single year, you got to worry about the possibility of what if. I don't understand it. But I always like to give credit to the content creators, so I'm definitely going to link this video down into the description if you guys want to support the content creator because I love to, you know, give credit where credit is due. Make sure you all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, T. Chanley, 40% off your first order, 20% off of life, and then come and kick it with me in person. Those links will all be down in the description. Let's continue to hear what she got to say. We get these hurricane force winds. First problem, um, the shit's going to fly around like projectiles. Plus, if your insurance adjuster hasn't come, they're supposed to be looking at this stuff. Who knows where it's going to be down the block? So this problem number one is the wind. I should say problem number one is the surge, but they're about the same right now. And then what if we flood again? Again. The water is going to flow through the studs of the house. Like at least all of our stuff is up, I guess. Like it's out of there. But from what I'm reading, you have to put in a second claim. I can't. I can't. I feel so bad for these people. I don't even know. Like in the community, I can say there is, there was an overwhelming camaraderie 
as soon as Helene had passed of like, we got to get through this. Everyone was leaning on each other. This is how people get and broken. And now there's an overall spirited. feeling of defeat. Everyone just feels like, what? where do we start? How do we, most people are just going to evacuate and go far away because like, why would we even want to be here to see this mess? We were already booked in a hotel because of the last hurricane. Not enough people are talking about this and how terrifying it is. Oh, we bring invisibility. And to I'm going to have a baby in 17 weeks. My first baby. Look, I know y'all love that Florida weather, and I'm not trying to tell people what to do, but I'm just saying that it's a lot of people that's feeling defeated. I had a conversation with some of my family members because they were saying, Anton, we about to build, you know, we building houses down here and stuff like that. And y'all know that a lot of my family don't listen to me, but I had conversations with my family members when they moved down there because they moved down there just to see what the experience was like. And then, you know, they rent it and now they buying houses and building houses and stuff like that. And I said, listen, fam, I'm not really sure that that's the wise thing for you guys to do and it was like oh we ain't worried about what you're talking about or whatever blah 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 blah. and so i was like okay cool well me and mines we just gonna stay right here in good old michigan where yep we do have winter but i believe that the winter and the rain is there to cleanse the air and that's probably the worst thing that we get up here is winters it just is what it is we got the f best freshest body of water best cost of living it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome being here. And we got the best summers. We get to experience all four seasons. We genuinely get to experience all four seasons. And so it's a, it's a really good lifestyle and living. And so I think that the investment is also going to be in the Midwest. Uh, I'm going to talk about this on the Millionaire Morning Show on a regular basis to make sure that you guys get the information. But um, you, you combine that with inept leadership. And you got a disaster on your hands. You have a disaster on your hands. FEMA ain't trying to help y'all. What you talking about? Y'all living in hotel rooms. She about to have a baby at in 17 weeks. It's bad. It's absolutely bad. And then here's the cherry on top of it. Here, here's the, the kicker, right? We also are funding proxy wars and we won't help the people that's in this country. Your leadership shows up a week later. A week later. And I'm almost wondering also, is this a, a ploy to affect people's ability to vote because they're going to be so busy and displaced with what's going on with these hurricanes? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We need to evaluate that. We need to have a conversation about that. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description and then get your tickets to come and kick it with me in person. I love you. I appreciate you. We praying for everybody. We praying for everybody.